chance to go top of the league this afternoon, and they were odds-on to do so. The visitors, West Ham United, with just one win so far, and fielding those three new signings. Commentary at Ewood Park comes from Tony Gubber. West Ham's trio of new players, David Burrows, Mike Marsh and Lee Chapman, only kitted out this morning for their debuts, and they've not yet trained with their new teammates. West Ham with a fascinating degree of unfamiliarity. Burrows, number 33, slots straight in at left back to replace the transferred Julian Dix. Mike Marsh, number 34, will be in centre midfield alongside Ian Bishop. And Lee Chapman, number 25, joins Morley up front. Blackburn are not a team to be outdone these days. New signing Paul Warhurst, £2.7 million, makes his home debut and shows his versatility by again playing in midfield. Indeed, it's the same Blackburn team that won 1-0 at Liverpool on Sunday, which means that Alan Shearer's return is still treated with kid gloves, only on the substitutes bench today, although he was pulled out of the reserve match in midweek. Keith Hackett, the figure of authority, and Blackburn, of course, will go top of the Premiership if they win this afternoon, although perhaps only for 24 hours with Manchester United and Arsenal meeting at Old Trafford tomorrow afternoon. Ord. And under pressure here from Tim Sherwood. Neat turn by Gallagher, Ripley, Warhurst. Wants to have a goal good effort from Warhurst, well where do you play him? He's virtually a, a team in one, Paul Warhurst, he can play in centre defence or up front, it's midfield where Kennedy Alvalis has put him, but as soon as he got sight of goal, he wanted to have a crack, and McCloskey had to tip it over. Now Dale Gordon. I wonder if Billy Bond's words from the touchline have stung a few ears. Helped on by Gordon, Chapman looks in, he got his foot to it, Lee Chapman! And he scored! Oh, disarray in the Blackburn defence! And Lee Chapman opens his account for his new club. After 33 minutes, courtesy of a catastrophic misunderstanding, what was going on here? I think it's Henning Berg as Mims came off his line, and between them they didn't get it clear. Dale Gordon, who got high to help it on, and then the defender and the keeper getting in each other's way. Newell took it nicely, now he wants support. Ripley. Chopped in short. Oh, it's into the side netting. Gallagher, and just for a moment, Ewood Park thought that was in. Ripley, who dropped it in short, Kevin Gallagher's run, a glancing header, but it nestled into the side netting. Getting it quickly, Newell. Behind the back of Warhurst, Wilcox, good stop by McCloskey. And Dale Gordon, who brings it out. And Moran's put it into the crowd. What a good save by Ludo Miklosko. It looked as though Wilcox was through. Well, he was. And look how quickly the big keeper closed him down. He spread himself and saved it with his legs. Ripley. Nicely threaded through. Berg's available. That came off Burrow's corner. Blackburn beginning to put their game together. Mikloskow organising his players. Back header was by David May, his shot was by Newell, and Mikloskow stopped it again. Well, two chances for Blackburn to score. And maybe this was easier than the one for Wilcox. Look how close he is on the goal. Difficult to see whether it hit the defender or the keeper. Now Alan Shearer can make his introduction. Jason Wilcox is the player who is pulled off to make way for Alan Shearer. 
come on five times as a substitute before today. This will be the six and just the one goal. And this is West Ham's first corner of the second half. Dale Gordon didn't quite get the flick on. Now, needs to cross with his right foot. Oh, great header and a good goal! Morley! Mims got fingers to it but couldn't keep it out. And remarkably, West Ham lead 2-0. And who says that Roland can't use his right foot? Beautifully directed by Trevor Morley for his first goal of the season and from West Ham's point of view thank goodness Dale Gordon missed it because it was perfectly placed for Trevor Morley new signings there what do you think about Blackburn taking nothing away from West Ham it looked like a sort of off day for them today yeah they didn't play well to he'll not be happy Kenny will agree to that as he won't be happy with the, the two goals he lost had bad goals mm -hmm. but they'll come back They'll yeah. be there or thereabouts at the end of the season. You'll get the full story tomorrow morning, I hear. I hope he doesn't take his frustration out on me tomorrow at the golf course. <laughs>